For beginners, you mainly want to download Node.js in order to get access to what is called the NPM library. This is because when you have the NPM library, you can use it to install what is called packages. And each package is like a reusable piece of code that you can use in your project. So in this video, we're gonna go over how to install Node.js. I haven't actually installed on my computer, so I'm going to install it live for you guys. And then we're gonna go over what kind of packages you can install once you have Node.js on your computer. And then finally, we're going to install a package that is called Angular, which is used for web development. So I will link below what website you need in order to download this from, but I am downloading this as for Windows. So I'm gonna grab this version right here. It says recommended for most users and then the 19 is latest features. So I'm just gonna go ahead and download this one and you'll see that it downloaded in uh, a file down here. And once that is done downloading, you just double click it. So now that that has downloaded, now we just double click this and it will open up this right here. Press next, accept the um, agreements, continue on next, uh, program files dash, node.js is fine for me. Um, I usually just keep this all basic. Um, and then just press next for everything and finally install. And then it will say, do you want to allow this app to make changes on your computer? You're gonna say yes, and then you'll see it start to install here. So it was pretty quick. So now we're just gonna go ahead and press finish just to get rid of it. Now, if we want to check the version that we downloaded, we can just go to the command prompt by typing in command and then double clicking that or clicking that and typing node space dash dash version and enter. And then it tells you 18.13.0. So we know it has been successfully installed. So let's talk about now that we have that installed and we know that it's on our computer, we can just minimize that and look at some applications that we can now install using the NPM library. So if you go to Bootstrap, so this is like a CSS wrapper, so it helps you build out your CSS without having to do brute force code. So as you can see right here, if you just open up this website, right here it says NPM, right? Like, so we're looking for those NPM install or I and Bootstrap, so it's like, you can use NPM to install anything. And then as well, if you go to Angular, which is um, another kind of framework, another application you can install using NPM, you can do try Angular. And then if you scroll down, you'll see NPM dash dash version to check your version and then NPM Angular, my app. So you can see a lot of different applications you can install using NPM. And that's why we downloaded Node.js. That is mostly what I'm going to be using it for. Like, so when you see other people say, oh, Node.js is a JavaScript blah and a multi-platform blah, we don't care about that. You just need it so that you can start using this NPM install in order to build out some really cool applications. So I want to install Angular. So what I'm gonna end up doing is opening up that command prompt again and actually copying in npm install dash g at angular slash cli at latest. So this will install the latest version of Angular. Now, before you press enter, make sure you're not connected to any VPNs because it will not work if you are. So make sure you're just on Wi-Fi at your house and then go ahead and press enter. Okay, so you'll see a lot of things start to move on the screen, but essentially it has been downloaded now. You can see right here, it says added 224 packages, blah, 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 blah. And then it tells you some notices about NPM and how there's a new version. Yes, we understand. Um, and then right here, run NPM install, you know, update, great. So then it brings you back down to the users and you can see it says Lizzie, because obviously that's me. <laughs> and so now you know it has been performed properly. Okay, so now you'll notice we haven't actually done anything, right? Like, yeah, this is all theoretical. We think these packages are going to help us and all that. But until you build an Angular application, you're not gonna understand why you need it because you're gonna end up doing like other commands that you could do in the terminal now that you couldn't do before. So when you wanna pull up a server for your Angular project, you're gonna type in ng space serve and you can make apps and stuff inside your command prompt or a terminal now that you couldn't before. But until you make an application, you're not gonna see the difference. Right now, it just looks like you just installed a bunch of stuff. So I have another video that is all about making an Angular application and we're gonna make it in VS Code, which is a very common code editor, but I just wanna make sure that you are 
your setup and have everything installed so you know what Node.js is and why we're using it and why it's important as a developer to have this on your computer. So check out that video. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time.